Good afternoon, third grade online learners. Welcome to March 5th, 2021. I believe everybody's done with their science quiz, but there might be one out there. I have to check my grade book. So if you are still out there waiting, here's a brief review for you. Motion is a change in an object's position, and that means in related to other objects. So if something is moving by, we're comparing it to what it's moving past. So if you're on a sidewalk and you see a bus go by full of people, you see motion. If you're on that bus, the people on the bus may not be moving. So it depends on your perspective. But motion is a change in an object's position. Mo motion can change the potential and kinetic energy of objects. So you could be potential, it starts moving, now it's kinetic. Distance is a measure of length. When you apply a greater force to an object, the object travels a longer distance. For example, how hard you maybe hit a ball or how hard you would throw a ball. Direction is the path an object follows. Speed is a measure of how fast or slow an object is moving. A gymnast has more kinetic energy when running than when moving slowly. Every change in motion needs a force. So you need something to change the motion, change the direction, something like that. Uh, a change in direction is caused by a force. You can find the direction of an object's motion by comparing its position now with its position at an earlier time. And you can measure speed by finding the distance of an object that travels over a certain amount of time. Okay, so just a quick review, because like I said, I think everyone is done for the quiz. As long as you have your journal entries done, and I, I went through that too, I was pretty impressed. I only have one person that still has to do their journal entry, and I'm gonna give them till the end of the day. So, um, Hopefully they will get their, their journal entries done. You need three for the week. All right, third grade, have a nice weekend. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.